Ebenezer Malcolm to constitute the 14th congregation. Members of the Governing Council Peggy College of Education, the principal, the representative of the Minister of Education, Dr. Ernest Nkansa, the rest of Vice Chancellor, University of Cape Coast, and University of Ghana, the rest of Dega Kojo Bay, the 12th, the Paramount Chief of Peking Traditional Area, principals of other colleges of education, the directors and district directors of education, members of the academic board, Dogbio Mamao, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. I hereby constitute this assembly as the 14th congregation of Peking College of Education, Peking, for the purpose of conferring diplomas. Thank you very much.
see before us today. The purpose of our gathering today is to join the college to celebrate its 14th congregation since it became a diploma awarding institution and also to celebrate the success of these graduates. Mr. Chairman, permit me to give a hearty welcome to all the distinguished guests who have gathered here today to demonstrate their love for education and for that matter, their love for particular education. On behalf of the current community, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I once again extend my warmest welcome to you all. We are indeed very honored to have with us such an impressive array of dignified personalities. We are very grateful to you for making time to be with us. I am especially grateful to the Minister of Education, Honorable Dr. Yorgos Osei who accepted our invitation to be the guest speaker for today's function. We are honored to have his representative, Dr. Eric Nkansa, as our guest speaker. We are especially welcome to particular education. We also have in our midst this morning a number of past students with us. The comments, you are welcome, welcome to our alma mater. Tobiwo, Mamamo, your presence on that meeting has added a traditional touch to this celebration. We thank you. I am also particularly happy to welcome the National President of Particular Communication, Past Student Association, in the person of Mr. Delani Agozo. Sir, we are grateful that you have made time to be with us. To my colleague principals, heads of institutions, I say thank you for your unwavering support. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I can say with pride that college education has come a long way when it comes to the contribution to the national man manpower development. The college chancellors were informed graduates who perform whenever they find themselves. We inculcate in our students the values of faith in God, morality, and a high sense of responsibility. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is worth noting that today's graduates are the last part of the Diploma in Basic Education program. The current students on campus are now offering the four-year Bachelor of Education program, which started in all of the College of Education in the 2028-2018-2019 academic year. Peking College of Education offers two offsite programs, Bachelor of Education in Primary and Junior High Education. Academic performance. When it comes to academic performance, Peking College Education has every cause to boost. Every year's performance is a marked improvement on the previous year, thanks to the hard-working staff of this college. Mr. Chairman, permit me to prevent, present a brief statistics on our graduates. For this year's congregation, the college is presenting 568 students who have satisfied all the requirements for the award of diploma in basic education. For the third batch, 2018-2019 year group, we have 294 graduates with 166 being males, while 128 are females. Out of these numbers, four black ones representing 1.4 obtained first class, 89 obtained second class upper, 116 second class lower, 63 third class, and 22 pass. We can confidently say that all the students Pass the examinations. The quality of passes has also improved. For the same batch, 2019-2020 year group, we have 274 graduates. Out of the test number, 179 are males and 100. 
seven are females. With respect to their performance, five black ones representing 1.8 obtained first class, 121 representing 44% had second class upper, 105 representing 38 had second class lower, 38 representing 14% obtained third class and 5 representing 1.8 obtained parts. Mr. Chairman, it is evident the 2019-2020 academic year recorded an overall improvement in performance over the 2018-2019 academic year. <laughs> staff development. Mr. Chairman, members of staff have been from numerous workshops, numerous workshops organized by many our mentoring institutions, University of Cape Coast and University of Ghana. These workshops, these, these workshops, these workshops have helped sharpen tutors' pedagogical skills as well as improve efficiency of non-academic staff in the college. Innovative methods of teaching have been introduced, and these interventions make teaching interactive and interesting. The numerous workshops on research and publication have helped equip tutors with reports to represent skills and knowledge for research and publication in both local and international journals. Management is ready to support staff to attend academic conferences, to present papers in their disciplines and ensure that they publish at least an article a year. Infrastructural development. Mr. Chairman, for the past one year, the current government council and the management has adopted a holistic approach to both academic and infrastructural development of the college. Prominent achievements include the following. Renovation work on some staff bungalows. Renovation work on male halls of residence. Painting of the college gate. Installation of 30 CCT cameras sponsored by the Northern American branch of Organa to improve security of the college, repairs of college vehicles and buses, installation of fans in the various halls of residence, renovation of teaching and learning resource center, work on the stalled 1,400 old children is progressively steady. The government council and management have also developed a five-year strategic plan for the college that we have captured it within 2025 to improve physical infrastructure, improve technology, enhance professional experience and student experience. Most of these projects have been undertaken with get fund support and we are highly grateful to the government of Ghana. In our fund, we use our internally generated funds to improve the academic facilities. Student issues. There has been relatively peace on campus. The SRC is functioning effectively and effect efficiently and effectively. The college administration continues to enjoy the support of student representative councils. The SRC has embarked on numerous projects during the year and the review. Challenges. Mr. Chairman, challenges of management includes, but not limited to, the following. The Bravo Road Network, poor and dilapidated male hall of residence, particularly Neil and Pitchford, inadequate IGF, inadequate staff, especially non-academic, inadequate accommodation for staff, and lack of auditorium. Again, the campus is still being used as a thoroughfare by outsiders. 
even though we have our able security men, the difficulties they face in protecting life and property is enormous. Appreciation. I wish to take this opportunity to express our appreciation to the government, government of Ghana, the Ministry of Education, and the Ghana Education Trust Fund, Get Fund, for funding the Ladies Hostel, which is about 95% complete, and the Victorian project. I also wish to thank the staff of particular education for their hard work and commitment to the college. We are active of their hard work and commitment to the cause of the college. There are certain individual corporate bodies that continually contribute in various ways anytime we call upon them for sponsorship. We are grateful to all of them. We cannot end without expressing our thanks to GAFCO President Association for their unflinching support. To our graduates, now to the graduates who are going to be awarded diplomas today, I know you are no doubt so with blissful anticipation. You have every right to feel elated and proud of your achievements. This foundation is an important milestone in your life. Your intelligence, your capacity for hard work, the education you have earned and received in particular education gives you a unique status and therefore especially special responsibilities as a teacher. That once haven't come this far, you are justified to be proud and ecstatic. I can see the pride with which you are wearing your academic gowns. And I want you to know that this is the only one of the many academic gowns that lie ahead of you. Do not be content with just one shot of success. Resist the easy comfort of complacency and dream of climbing to greater heights. Do not be content with only a diploma. A lot of professors in the university started off like you. You can go as far as you will. Your willpower can take you. Now to the parents, guardians, siblings, wives and husbands. I salute you for your sacrifice and the unraveling support these young ladies and gentlemen enjoy throughout their study. You have in no small way contributed to make them what they are now. May God richly bless you and replenish whatever you lost in your bid to support these young ones. Conclusion. Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the 14th Convention of Particular Education we have a special mention in the history of the college because your presence has actually given the ceremony a touch of class. You have given the college and our garden moment that we will forever cherish. We are very grateful to you all. May the Almighty God bless and keep you and grant you all safe journey back to your destination. I wish all the God ones and everyone, all the very best. Thank you, and God bless. By the authority of the academic board of the University of Cape Coast, I admit you all thoroughly on the, to the Diploma in Basic Education of the Institute of Education, University of Cape Coast. Congratulations.
the staff of Peking College of Education, graduates, alumina, distinguished invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen of protocols observed. I bring you warm greetings from the Honorable Dr. Yao Ose Edichu, the Minister for Education, who could not join us this morning due to other pressing engagements. He would have loved to be here in person, but his schedule today made it practically impossible for him to be here. I therefore have the singular honor to read his speech. Mr. Chairman, it is gratifying to be invited to participate in the 14th Congregation Ceremony of this great institution. I am grateful to the College Government Council and the management for inviting me to be part of this August occasion. I bring you special greetings from the President of the Republic, His Excellency Nana Budampa Ekufuado. This congregation is important because the graduating students are the last batch of students to be awarded Diploma in Basic Education from Colleges of Education. This marks a significant milestone in our quest to transform teacher education and training in Ghana. Colleges of Education have moved from pre-tertiary certificates awarded institutions to tertiary institutions with the passage of Act 847 with a unique mandate to train specialized teachers that deliver quality education to the citizenry of this country. Mr. Chairman, education reform is a major priority of this government. In the first term, His Excellency the President, Many educational reform initiatives were started. These initiatives aimed to improve teacher education, and training, and establish national teacher standards for teachers in the country. Mr. Chairman, a significant achievement of the reform initiatives is the start of the four-year Bachelor of Education program being implemented by the Colleges of Education being implemented by the Colleges of Education under special affiliation arrangement with five public universities. I wish to commend TTEP for the lead role they played in making this project a success. By this program, all teachers completing colleges of education from next year shall be awarded Bachelor of Education degrees with the University of Cape Coast awarding the pioneers of this curriculum and the subsequent years seeing five public universities, the University of Cape Coast, University of Ghana, University of Education, Geneva, University for Development Studies, and the Pan Chroma University of Science and Technology awarding graduates. The main objective of these educational reforms is to generally improve learning outcomes and train individuals with the requisite knowledge, skills, and attitudes necessary for this country's socioeconomic and political transformation. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, the COVID-19 pandemic 
had seriously impacted Ghana's education center. It has, in a way, distorted our educational calendar and created some uncertainty. But the government, through the Ministry of Education, has embarked on measures that ensures that our young ones continue to receive education.